gloves, and here we go. And watching this live with me is Johnny Nelson. It's going to be unbelievable. The fans, everybody around the world, the fighters, this is just one of those things. It's time for our tale of the tape. And here is the legend himself, Saul Canelo Alvarez. He's 172 centimeters tall with a reach of 179. And facing him, it's... So here is Saul Canelo Alvarez, the Mexican legend, the middleweight, the super middleweight, the light heavyweight who fights out of Guadalajara, Mexico. Sugar Ray. This bout is scheduled for eight rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, here is Mexico's first ever undisputed world champion and renowned star of boxing. Here is a four division world champion and an undisputed super middleweight champion of the world, Saul Canelo Alvarez. Hiding out of the blue corner, presenting one of the all time greats, the Hall of Fame legend of boxing, a five division champion of the world, Sugar Ray Leonard. The fans are ready, and it looks like the fighters are now ready. Take the phone off the hook. This is all I wanted to see right now, right in front of me. What a great venue, and what a great matchup. Cannot wait for this one. Good luck. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Got to let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. When are we going to see a jab from these two? That left hook misses. Good counter punch. Exchange punches. So much pre-hype surrounding this fight. The fans are on the edge of their seats. You have certain fighters that are born for this, that are made for the big crowd. And look in that corner right there. That is that fighter right there. They have elevated lift to this fight. They're not touching the ground. This is what they were born for. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? Back and forth they go. Has to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. You'd like to see more jabs. Sometimes when you're fighting a counterfighter, the rounds can get a little boring. You get trigger shy because you know if you throw a punch, one is coming right back at you. If you're fighting a counter puncher, you've got to dummy a shot. Make them react from that, then react then. I know it's hard to think that way, but counter punchers, they're watching you, watching your every move, that every twitch. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Talk about Alvarez in that last round. Well, he is in big trouble here. He may have been saved by the bell. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're getting it. Kitchen sink. Look at him now. He's looking behind the jab and then let your shots go. Don't let him get back into it. It's so important now in this first minute, this next round, that you get on top of him. Don't let him get back into the fights. Don't let him get that confidence. He's going to be stressing out his gas tank now. Keep whacking him to the body. Keep taking away that air. Every time you see him get into the fight, don't let him get that confidence. He's going to be stressing about his gas tank. Stop him from getting that breath in. Don't let him get back into the... Every time you see him take a big, deep breath, bang him downstairs. Jab him downstairs. Off of him. Keep him busy with that jab. Work him behind the jab. And then let you fight. It's so important now in this first minute. This next. Unfortunately, this fighter not going to get more time to heal up as we get set to jump back in the action. Don't let him get back in at this fight. Come on, you've got this. Don't let him off the hook. And back. <laughs> oh, 
Both men step back for just a moment. Throwing the hook, but it doesn't score. Has to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. A typical outside fighter, as you know, focuses on defense. Stick and move, stick and move. If you want to corner an outside fire, make them fight off the rope because they don't want to do that. They don't want to stand still. They want to move left to right. Pin him down. Throw a blanket on him. Which better would say no moss? Canelo Alvarez just got rocked in a big way. I can't believe we're only halfway through the round. Keeping those gloves up, the guard high, paying dividends as it seems that that moment of trouble has passed. Green Days now needs to steady the pace. Get the pace back to normal. You've got to go sleeping on the job. What do you do? You step back, steady yourself, recompose yourself, then boom, back into it. But do not make those mistakes. This is the wrong place to fall asleep. <laughs> Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Let's talk about Alvarez in that last round. At this point, you gotta believe he can't win on the scorecards. Gonna need a knockout. Wow, you know what? I've been in fights like that. When you think you come up, bell, ring away. You walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. Don't let him get back into this fight. Come on, you got this. Don't let him off the hook. He's stretching about his gas tank now. Keep whacking him to the body. Keep taking away that. Get that confidence. He's gonna be stretching out his gas tank now. Keep whacking him to the body. Keep taking away that air. Every time you see him get a big deep breath, Bang him downstairs. Now in this first minute, this next round, that you get on top of him, keep it. Don't let him get back into this fight. It's so important now that in the first minute. Don't let him get back into this fight. Come on, you've got this. Don't let him off the hook. Guy in the jab and then let your shots go. Don't let him get back into this fight. Gonna be stressing about his gas tank now. Keep whacking him. And that'll do it for the minute break as we get set to fight. Don't let him get that pump. Back. They ring the bell and here we go. Not the start that they wanted, but let's see what they can do in this round. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot, jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. Needs to put some combination work together. One punch is good, two punch is better. Every time they throw a shot, they get countered. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. What a round so far as we've reached the halfway point. You can tell one of these fighters is starting to fade. What does he need to do to get back in this contest? And you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What can you do? Willpower. Calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. Holding nothing back here in the round. This fight has a real good flow to it. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Talk about Alvarez in that last round. The game plan does not seem to be working here. What's he have to do differently? The bell, sometimes it couldn't be the sweetest sound. You've got to 
go off there. Come on, do you want to win this fight? You don't want to lose this fight. Get your mind back on the job. That's a terrible round out of kid. Go back out there and win the round. Get back behind. And there's the bell to start the round. Coming off a very tough round. Let's see what they do here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight. Your fight. Hold him. Tie him up. Just until your head clears again. And your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Counter punches have to hurt. Talk about punches and bunches. That's the mantra for this fighter with that exceptional hand speed. So you're getting in there with somebody that's so fast, you're prepared to take a lick it because you've got to get some before you get in close. That counter punch caught him clean. Right when you think the pace will slow down, it picks up. That counter punch caught him clean. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them. More Sugar Ray Leonard days. <clears throat> As he weathered the storm. Defense, defense, defense is everything because they got shot once. They know he's not caught again. So for now, just defense. Work on defense. Blocking and stopping and shooting. Big hook thrown, but it doesn't connect. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Let's talk about Alvarez in that last round. What would you tell this guy? He's got to do something different. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're going to get a kitchen sink. Look at him now. He's working behind the jab and then let your shots go. Don't let him get back into it. It's so important now in this first minute, this next round, that you get on top of him. Don't let him get back into the fight. Don't let him get that confidence. He's going to be stretching out his gas tank now. Keep whacking him to the body. Keep taking away that air. Every time you see him get into the fight, don't let him get that confidence. He's going to be stressing about his gas tank. Uh, stop him from getting that breath in. Don't let him get back into the time you see him take a big deep breath, bang him downstairs. Jab him downstairs. Off of him. Keep him busy with that jab, work him behind the jab, and then let you fight. It's so important now in this first minute, this next... The referee calling for seconds out as we get set to jump back in the action. Don't let him get back into... Shots go. Don't let him get back in at this fight. Come on, you've got this. Don't let him off the hook. They ring... What do you think of this fight so far, Johnny? This is when you get in the ring feeling like you're King Kong because you know you've got a chin that is not going to get dented. And that left hook doesn't find its target. Neither one of these fighters want to see the judges score cards. Nope, that jab not going to score. Well, with welterweights, they sometimes bring you the best of both worlds. Fast hand and power. I've never seen a fight so fast in my life. How do you deal with this? You've got to hope. You've got to hope they went out of steam. These two are the perfect dance partners. Skill for skill, tap for tap. It's like a match made in heaven. They exchange punches. Punch, counter punch. When are we going to see a jab from these two? Big shot, and Alvarez is on the canvas. One, two, three, four. Come to me.
Apparently, it's going to take more than that to keep this fighter down. That is a shot. Final 10 seconds here, unless something major happens. I think we all know who won that one. <laughs> Talk about Alvarez in that last round. Boy, this next round is going to be crucial considering the knockdown we just witnessed. You're being put down. You've got to... We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. His eyes look pretty clear here, Johnny. How do you think he's going to do after being knocked down in the last round? What a knockdown. One minute, you need one hour to get over a shot like that. Now it's down to conditioning. Now it's down to mental strength and preparation. It's how you are going to deal with this. You believe it for Steve. Well, Johnny, we're a couple rounds in. What are you seeing so far? This is about ego. Get your ego in check, Todd, because if you fight a man that is used to doing this, he's confident and comfortable doing this, why are you giving him that chance to dance that dance? Step out of the way, box him. Frustrate him, because if you let him get away with it, he pulls you down. Do you believe what we are seeing? Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. That hook was off target. Only catching air with that hook. This is some of the best action I've seen in any round anywhere this year. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Talk about Alvarez in that last round. Well, he is glad to have heard that bell. Every second, every minute of this fight. They ring the bell, and here we go. Off their stools and ready to go. Let's hope this round is more competitive. That was a tough last round. Now you better make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet. Not until the senses have come back. Beautiful counter punch. Well, Johnny, it's still early on, but what do you think about what we're seeing so far? This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, it can be intimidating. Just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. And that jab just missed with the left hand. Swing and a miss with that one. Those who thought this would be a mismatch, you are sorely wrong. What do you think of what we've seen so far from these two boxers, Johnny? Oh my word, Canelo just got clipped. So time to go celebrate after a knockout win here. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. You see shots like that in the gym. At least for once, this is on TV. Thousands around the world saw that shot. They probably